Good morning. Are you living a life of life or death? Moses said, I put before you life or death. Choose life. What in the world was he talking about? A life that trusts in a living God or a life that trusts in yourself? A life that is righteous or a life that is selfish? There's a big difference. We as humans have a choice. We have a free choice. We have free will to live a life that is full of life. Live a life of love. God says, a life of love is a life that is outside of itself. A life given over to serve others. Now that's hard for humans because we are selfish. We want a life that serves us. We want a life so that we are built up. We want a life so that we may have things. We may have what we need or what we think we need. But God, God tells us in the Sermon on the Mount and throughout all scripture not to worry. Like the birds and flowers that don't worry, God will provide. Well, will he provide enough? Will it be what I need? Yes, he promises to do that. He will give us life. The life we need as we trust in him. In this world, we'll have troubles, tribulations, and things that'll make us fear. We're a fearful people. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. That means the things of the world through which we struggle, God has overcome. And through him, we may find life. We are made by God. He breathed life into us. We were not created by random or from nothing, but by a loving, living, dynamic, continuing to live God, who is personal and watches out over us, for us. And through his love, we can live a new life, a new life. A changed life. The old gone, the new come, Paul tells us. And where is this life? John, the apostle, tells us that this life is in the Son, the Son of God. He who has the Son, she who has the Son, has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. So what is this life and death? It is to live a life in the Spirit. It is to live a life filled with God. It is to live a life that God intends for us. It is a life eternal when we trust in God. If we don't, it is a life that ends in darkness with no hope. But if we live with hope, we overflow with hope, then the peace and joy of God fill us. Fill us, yes, with God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. And God is spirit, and he lives within us if we trust in him. And he wants that none should perish. Perish? Have death and darkness forever. But to come and have a full life in him. So this is life that we're living. It's cold today in Wisconsin. Rains are coming. Soon spring is coming. New life will come. I'm looking forward to that. Even though I love to snowshoe and cross-country ski, I could use the flowers and new life and green grass. That would be a wonderful thing.
but I'm trusting that God in his seasons and his way and his timing will make all things right. I wrote a book called This is the Way, Walk in It. What's that about? It is about walking in the way, the most excellent way of life. The way of love. The life filled with light and not darkness. Darkness is dead. We were all walking in darkness at one time. But then many saw the light, Isaiah tells us. You might hear that at Christmas time, when it's dark, dark, dark. Yes, the light of life, the light of love, is in God. And as we choose that light and walk in that light, we have life and light. And we can pass it on to others because we're filled with it. That's a life of hope. So as we walk in it, walk in this most excellent way, a two-volume book I wrote talks about how do you do that? taking subjects like peace or forgiveness or endurance and perseverance, walking in his way, stories about how to do that. There are millions of stories around of those who are doing it every day, trusting in God. It is the only way. So today, let's have life. And let's live in the light and the life of love. Amen.